From dancing her way to a successful career in acting, to her dream of being in a musical like La La Land. Here's the rise of India Amatifio. India's story begins far before she became the girl destined to play Queen Charlotte. She was born in Kingston and grew up in Twickenham. Her dad has roots in Ghana, while her mum's German. She auditioned for the Richmond Academy of Dance in 2012, and from there, she got a scholarship to go to the Sylvia Young Theatre School. The English actress debuted on West End in 2011, playing Nala in a production of The Lion King at the Lyceum Theatre. But that isn't the only classic story she's been a part of. India was part of Matilda the Musical at the Cambridge Theatre, and also the original Charlie and the Chocolate Factory cast at Theatre Royal Drury Lane. That year was especially huge for the budding actress, because she also made her TV debut by starring in Gangster Granny, a BBC One movie. After that, she was on her path. She made an appearance in the ninth season of Doctor Who, worked on a Disney Channel series, and played Ros Huntley's daughter in The Line of Duty. In 2019, she went on to bigger projects and appeared in her first feature film. It was a dramatic comedy titled Military Wives. And fast forward to 2023, she played the leading role in Queen Charlotte, a Bridgerton story. That put her on history's radar because the same year she appeared on Variety's list of 10 Brits to watch. Now, there's a pattern in India's rise. She's transitioned a lot in her career. It basically goes dancing, theatre and then acting. She's done it all. Turns out India wasn't always that fond of acting because her true passion was dance. According to her, she started performing at 11, continued until she was 16, but then got injured. After taking that blow, she really sat down and thought about the whole thing and realized that as a dancer, she'd be totally dependent on her body for her career. And it made her question the whole industry. Luckily, she'd always enjoyed the element of acting and dance, so she saw a chance to turn toward theatre and took it. Amatifio said that she was always particular about what she was doing, since theatre acting can be super demanding if you don't have the experience. She was only a kid when she started it, and even that took an adult's patience. She just couldn't do the same thing over and over again, so she started thinking about acting. She believed that movies and TV had more detailing as compared to theatre. And she's a person who loves getting into the details. India enjoys the small things that can have an impact on a story, and it's easier to do that in films. Plus, she also liked the thought of paying attention to only the person in the scene, instead of worrying about a huge audience. Well, safe to say that her fans are glad she made the move, because she was amazing as Queen Charlotte. The premise was really interesting right off the bat. It was Shonda Rhimes, but this time around her focus was on a historical legend. She took the story of the German-born queen, who might have been biracial, and following that theory, she drew up a series that gave the world a classic Rhimes number, with that gossipy chatter and some breath-catching heavy romance scenes. It took India ages to secure that role. Entering the sizzling, hot Bridgerton franchise isn't easy. And Amatifio confirmed it, saying that the audition process took about five months. She also added that it was all done virtually, so it didn't even seem real. At the time, she'd gotten close to leading roles, but she'd never managed to land one, so she was making peace with the idea that maybe she wasn't meant to lead and had to settle as a supporting actor. But luck smiled at India and she got the challenge she'd always wanted. She put in all she had and came out a queen. Of course, the casting wasn't without controversy. The thing is, not all historians agree on the race of Queen Charlotte, so the show got some mixed reviews about the casting. But fans were mostly happy to see a woman of color in the driver's seat. Sarah Barber from the Huntington News praised the show for changing things, showing the world that black and other actors of color also mattered, and that they could be more than just servants and slaves in period pieces. Mackenzie Jean-Philippe from Oprah Mag said the show was like a breath of fresh air because it didn't have any dialogue about why her people deserved their place on the screen. She added that Bridgerton does what other shows have spent decades trying to achieve. 
What made the whole thing so great was that Amartifio realized the importance of this too. Saying that the series explored how two different societies are brought together by an interracial marriage also called The Great Experiment. That name explains how people thought about it at the time. And even though the show might be fiction, the racism and prejudice there were very real. Society's seen so much of it that when George's mother said that Charlotte was quite brown, everyone understood what was going on. It was an important depiction and India didn't take the role lightly. She understood the power her character had knowing that Charlotte was a leader. Because even though she might have been in some people's way, she was also the one uniting the races. Her character was brave enough to take that responsibility, making her someone who challenged things, which is why people followed her. Amatifia was asked if she likes taking back the power by playing a queen, and she said that she'd never thought she'd get the chance to do it, saying it all felt unreal. But she was happy that young black girls could see someone like her on their screens, so they'd feel represented, because it doesn't happen too often. Being involved in the project was important for her, and that's why she prepared hard for this major role. Embodying Charlotte wasn't easy, so the star did her research. She went to Kew Gardens, where George and Charlotte once lived, and also read up on history. But she couldn't find everything in books, because the story was a retelling by Shonda. And she didn't want India only stuck on the facts, because Shonda was creating a whole different world. Still, Amartifio thinks that an actor should do as much research as they can. And one thing that really helped the queen get into character was the dresses. India shared that wearing them on top of corsets was super hard because it restricts you so much that your organs feel like they're rearranging themselves. But the actor, being the professional that she is, took advantage of the costumes during the filming. She said that the dresses affected her body movement and this helped her create Charlotte. So really the dresses were kinda like a mask and every time she was in them, she stopped being herself and instead became Queen Charlotte. The fans loved her, but she paid a heavy price. The star said that the period drama costumes changed her figure since she'd had to wear them for about 10 hours a day. She went in for a job and came out looking different. I guess that's how Bridgerton does it. Speaking of the show, India met other actors from that set too and said they were super helpful in building her career. The British actress said she found Claudia Jessie delightful. In fact, she was so nice, she told India to give her a call whenever she needed her. The actress also met Charithra Chandran, who played one of the Sharma sisters. India said that everyone was delightful and they all bonded really well because they'd been part of a world that not a lot of people have been to. No one really understood what they were going through. And she found it comforting that her acting seniors, who are older and wiser than her, had also been where she was. Amartifio's proud of playing the queen, but she's got more plans too. She's here to stick around and has said that she'd love the chance to work with Jordan Peele, the man behind Nope and Get Out. India also mentioned that she loves Martin McDonough and would be super excited if she ever got to work with him. She also wants to be in a musical like West Side Story or La La Land. And when it comes to choosing future projects, Amatefio's pretty simple about the criteria. She likes good people and good energy, but her morals are important to her too. So she wants to work on what's in line with her vision. So long as it's a good time and the people are respected, she's all in. So, from her dream of being in a musical like La La Land, to dancing her way to a successful career in acting, that was the rise of India Amartifio.